it's uh, honestly I think it starts outside the ballpark uh, as far as how we create the community feel here for the last two years Sacramento River Cats have been uh, ranked as the number one most valuable minor league baseball team in the country for the past 15 years well 14 going on 15 we've had the highest attendance out of any minor league baseball team in the country and that's not by accident we do everything we possibly can to create a community feeling. Uh, we, we pride ourselves on being one of the premier family-friendly venues in the area. Uh, when I was a kid, I used to come out here. I grew up in Davis, just about 10 minutes away, uh, across the causeway. So my family had season tickets. They used to come to games here when I was a kid. It's a, it's a great place to, to just view a game with your kids, with your parents, by yourself on Thirsty Thursday, whatever you, whatever you prefer. We have something for everybody. So, uh, and you just have to walk through the gates on any night. You know, you walk through these gates, there's music playing, you can smell the hot dogs, you can smell the popcorn. It, it, it's such a great atmosphere for the community to come in here and then they get to watch, you know, great baseball players play baseball every night in a family atmosphere with plenty of stuff to do, lots of activities in between innings, that sort of thing. It's just an absolute great time. Um, as I'm sure you know, we're a AAA team, so we're all about Sacramento. Um, we may be coordinated with the Oakland A's, but it's about, um, you know, providing activities for the city of Sacramento for the community to come. We do a lot of promotions. We do like a dollar um, hot dog, dollar dessert day on Tuesdays um, provided by Toyota. So that's a nice kind of opportunity for families to come and get a cheat meal and enjoy a game. Um, we do fireworks on Friday and Saturday and nothing really brings people together um, more than sitting and enjoying some live fireworks and we have one of the best shows here. So that's pretty cool. Um, and also just the fact that you can get right up to the field. You can see the players firsthand. There's not a bad seat in this park and it's not too big so you can really enjoy some some good baseball and a good time and um, and kind of create that community and that family feeling with the people amongst you as well as your family. Uh, we have community outreach programs, something called Cats Care. Definitely, we have something called the Cats Care program and we work with a lot of our corporate partners, a lot of them um, are involved with some nonprofit organizations or um, you know they sponsor 5Ks and some different different things so we go to a lot of um, 5Ks we go to a lot of just events around Sacramento and just represent the River Cats there we bring Dinger out to a lot of events just supporting people getting people you know excited to go out into the community and get involved and whether that means we give them a free t-shirt or um, you know we just promote them in some way maybe free tickets we're all about helping the community because the community helps us back. There, our players go to make hospital visits. They go to, we have something called River Cats Independence Field, which is a wheelchair accessible baseball field that we uh, built in 2005. And every year we take uh, our whole team up there to play wheelchair baseball with, with handicapped kids. And uh, we have too many community outreach programs uh, for me to talk about, but we, we, we pride ourselves on uh, being a part of the community. I think it does start with our community outreach, which is what I'm a representative of. So I'm out speaking at schools every week, speaking at different community events, whether it be Rotary Club meetings, uh, Little League fundraisers, whatever it is. I'm out in the community letting our community and fans know how much we appreciate them because we know that they are the lifeblood of this stadium. We wouldn't be able to keep the lights on here if it weren't for our fans and the community that supports us. So once you come into the ballpark, it's our job to remind you of how much we appreciate that. So uh, myself working in promotions as well as my cat crew, our ushers, all of our customer service people, they all know that it's up to them to make sure our fans know that, that we're happy to have you here. We hope you have a great time. And once you leave here, we want your first thought to be, when can I come back? You know, I really like people. I think that's the biggest part for me. I enjoy it. And the people that come here, it's kind of like Disneyland. They come and they want to be here. They're happy. And we don't have a lot of people that are unhappy. We're not dealing with that. So it makes retail really nice. How I got to work here? I was referred to uh, this job when it opened up by a uh, former boss, the groundskeeper for the San Francisco Giants. I interned for him. And so when this opened up, I was in Florida. And he said, why don't you... Uh, why don't you apply? So I did. Uh, I was working retail after college, graduated in 2010. My store closed in January of 2011. From January 2011 through uh, March, just for a couple months, I was working as a janitor. Uh, with my college degree, I was working as a janitor. Um, so you just, you know, sometimes you, just, you do what you gotta do. And my stepmom told me that she heard on the radio the River Cats were looking for a new MC, and I posted on Facebook, I was thinking of applying. And I got an email from a friend of mine who I'd been buddy since junior high, but we hadn't spoken much in the last couple of years. And he said, I saw your post on Facebook. I think you'd be perfect for that position. You should totally apply for it. Signed, Rhett Holland, mascot coordinator for the Sacramento River Cats. 
It's kind of a funny story. I, I had been in retail for about 30 years. My husband and I owned a tennis shop and a small tennis shop, Ma and Pa store. And we did that for a long time and then we had to close it and I was working in another retail store when the owner of the River Cats came in and liked me and offered me a job. The best parts about playing here is just the way this community supports us and the way we give back to the community. Our front office is very involved in all aspects of community involvement and for us to just be a small part of that for the six for the five months that we are here in Sacramento a year it's really an honor and a privilege to be a part of this community never 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 get sick of the food see the cool thing is we mix things up a lot here at Rayleigh Field there are a few consistent things that we'll always have like the dinger dog and donut bacon cheeseburger oh, I love that donut bacon cheeseburger we always bring in new stuff. Uh, there's a great restaurant just a couple blocks away from here called Broderick, and now we've built them their own miniature restaurant up in our uh, Jack Daniel Solon Club up on the upper devil, uh, upper level. Um, and they, we always have new stuff. There's always new stuff. Some stays, some goes, but it's hard to get tired of, of anything here. And when your office is this, it's pretty tough to get tired of any of it. You know, you, you learn how to work well with people under any circumstance, um, you know, long hours, you learn how to kind of pace yourself, how to get everything done by the deadline that you need to get it done by. Um, just a lot of personal development and then just learning about baseball. Not that I didn't grow up a baseball fan, but I probably know more about the River Cats and the A's than I ever thought I would. So um, I've learned a lot here. It's, it's a game we've all played at some point in our life, whether it be playing catch with a friend or playing Little League or playing high school or college or professionally. It's, it's baseball. It's America's pastime and I'm one of the fortunate people that get to do it for a living and that reminds me every day of why I do it and why I love it. Uh, it's incredible. Everyone here is is amazing and it's it's there are a lot of people in the world who want to work in sports and even though we are technically a minor league team we're the premier minor league baseball team in the country we're always on top of the Forbes most valuable lists we lead the league in attendance uh, so as far as minor league teams go there's no better one to work for. I think we bring a lot of uh, good things. Um, it's a very family oriented ballpark. Uh, it's a great place to come out and hang out with friends. Um, we got all sorts of different events, not just River Cat events. Uh, in the off season we have soccer games, we've had football here, we've had monster truck, we have um, specialty walks um, for donations and stuff. So it's a it's just a good wholesome place to be. Just hearing stories from people I I was speaking with uh, with a with a lady the other day and what she told me was um, ever since Rayleigh Field has come here, it's cleaned up this community. It's given this this community something to back, something to root for, something to cheer for, and uh, just the way that this community came together for the Sacramento Kings, you know, a little over a year ago. It, you can tell that this community loves loves their teams. They love their sports. They love their you know organizations that give back to the community. And I think the Sacramento Rivercats are probably right up there with the Kings as far as giving back to the community. It's uh, it's really fun to be a part of it. I would say they've given us more of a, a, a sense of community and that it's a unifying experience coming to a Rivercats game. You know, if you walk into a room full of strangers and you're wearing a Rivercats t-shirt and someone on the other side of the room is also wearing a Rivercats t-shirt, that's not your best friend in that room. You know, it's, it's something that we get thousands of people here every night for a game and those thousands of people go back out into the community. and. I know one night I was sitting at a restaurant and my server kept saying, you look so familiar. And he saw the River Cats brace that I was wearing and remembered who I was and he got all excited. We took a picture together, he sent it to his little sister who's a big fan. Um, it's just, it gives everyone something, um, some common ground, I guess, uh, something in common. Um, and I think that's, that's what's, what's, at least for me, I think that's most important. My, my degree is in small group communications and interpersonal communications, so it's all about building relationships, and I know that once you have something in common with, something, with someone, that's, that's the foundation, that's the starting point, and that's something that the Rivercats provide for Sacramento.